Hey there! Do you like art? Do you like acrylic pouring? Do you like spinning for no reason whatsoever? I do. Um, spinning's fun. Uh, art is fun. Acrylic pouring is fun. This is silly. I'm spinning, you're spinning, we're all spinning, cause spin art is fun. Nope. Alright class, listen up. Alright, settle down, have a seat, let me have your attention. Thank you. Alright, so first of all, I wanted to say that, well, I've got a couple of announcements. First things first is, um, today's a snow day and there's nobody here. The class is empty. It's a teacher work day because it's a snow day. Woo, 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 woo. Um, so I have a lot of grading to get to, um, but I'm not gonna because, well, I will. I'm gonna get to the grading, but I have to do some painting first. I was up all night last night thinking about how I want to in incorporate some centrifugal force into my paintings using my pottery wheel. Um, it's an idea that I've gotten from a few other people on YouTube. Um, let's see, first Rick Cheadle. I have seen him use a Lazy Susan to sort of spin his piece at the end, to sort of get it to spread out, get some of the excess paint off. Uh, then Wiggles Art is another uh, acrylic pourer that I follow and he has used some sort of contraption, I think also maybe a Lazy Susan, to spin his art and get some, some stuff going out. But then there's also an artist named Callan Shobe, I think that's how you pronounce it, S did a residency in Canada, but I've seen him in California too. Um, huge contraption using bike gear and um, large masked off walled area to contain the liquid paint and huge canvases and he um, <clears throat> has like a swinging contraption with a trough. So I thought I would give it a try and see what I could come up with. Even though I work in, in the space that is my classroom, all the materials are mine that I use. I purchased the canvases, I purchased the paint and the mediums. The potter's wheel that you will see me using in this video is also mine. It doesn't belong to the school. I purchased it years ago. Okay, so I've spent all morning trying to figure out how to secure the paintings onto the pottery wheel as well as how to keep the paint from flying everywhere. Those are the two main issues and I think I've got it figured out. I've got several different canvases and boards to paint on. For quality control purposes we're going to sort of reduce the variables by sticking with black and white and just a few neutrals at first but hopefully we will have some success. So here is my setup. This is my largest canvas on the pottery wheel and I've got my paints and my other canvases and boards here that I am going to paint on. This is the pedal that I will control the speed with. I have some cardboard backing over here to keep the spray at bay and then some bulletin board paper all around the, the exterior on this side. I have covered the floor and you see a little gap there. That's my in my exit door. So I will, I will close that in once I'm inside the perimeter. This is three foot by three foot square. I just wasn't really happy with the composition. It was a cool idea. I'm just not feeling it. But I wanted to demonstrate for you, before we got started, how this is going to work. So, I'm going to push the pedal a little bit. And there you have it. I have secured it. It shouldn't fly off. 
Uh, you want to see it go faster? You want to see if it flies off? Pretty cool. We're going to paint. It's going to be fun. I'm excited. I've got my little tripod right there. Got some light coming in from outside. So this should be a pretty decent video. All right. Here we go. We're going to try to uh, make some fluid art that's using centrifugal force and we'll see how it goes. We have our first piece ready to go. Spinning. I'm gonna coat it and I think the first thing I'm gonna try is just simply letting the paint spread. Maybe doing a flip cup sort of thing and then just seeing how it spreads around. And we're gonna limit our color palette to neutrals, mostly black and white. I'm shocked at how gray it is. I do feel like that is going to die down and the black will become more black as it dries. Ah. I think I might add a bit of white because this doesn't feel like it has much of a, I don't know. The cells are starting to pop, so it's feeling like the contrast is gonna come out over time. So I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna let it be. <laughs> I didn't secure the small one. So, real talk right now. We'll see what happens. Because I... Have you ever heard the, um, the saying that glitter is the herpes of the art room? It's true. I don't ever buy it, but it just shows up and it gets all over everything and it spreads to everyone. Here, this is the pearl mixture. Ooh, that's a lot of paint. And some white. I think I've hit the jackpot. This is what spin art's for. And look at that edge of gold right there. Which I sort of thought was going to be the way to go. That's why I saved it for last. Pat on my back. Thanks for watching another one of my videos. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you did. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon in order to get notifications on the next videos that come out. I try to put videos out every four days or so. 
Also, if you're looking to purchase any of my art, or if you would just like some swag, some merch, like this t-shirt here, or stickers, big and small, I have bookmarks and magnets and couch pillows and all kinds of stuff on my website, uh, seeholsherart.com. All my paintings that you've seen me create are for sale there. And there's that merch too. Thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Did you know I have an Instagram? I do. I update it daily. Lots of new posts on what I'm working on. New ideas and my most current projects. You can keep track of what I'm up to on there. So go and follow me. Check it out.